वेलकम वी विल स्टार्ट विद सम बेसिक क्वेश्चंस एंड देन गो इन डिटेल फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन व्हाट इज मैको और एमएससीओ इन फार्मास्यूटिकल इंडस्ट्री मैको इज द मैक्सिमम अलोवेबल रेसिड्यू ऑफ ए प्रीवियस प्रोडक्ट दैट कैन बी कैरीड ओवर इनटू द नेक्स्ट प्रोडक्ट विदाउट कॉजिंग एडवर्स इफेक्ट्स रेफरेंस ईएमएस गाइडलाइन ऑन सेटिंग हेल्थ बेस्ड एक्सपोजर लिमिट्स 2014 व्हाई इज मैको इंपॉर्टेंट इन क्लीनिंग वैलिडेशन Macro ensures that cross contamination levels are within safe limits protecting patient safety and ensuring regulatory compliance reference FDA's guidance on cleaning validation 1993 how often should macro values be reviewed macro values should be reviewed whenever new toxicological data regulatory guidelines or process changes occur reference FDA's guidance on cleaning validation 1993 What is the formula for macro calculation? Macro is equal to N O E L, that is no observed effect level into minimum batch size of next product divided by maximum daily dose of next product. The reference AMS guideline on setting health based exposure limits 2014. Very important question. What are the key steps for calculation of macro? Step one: determination of N O E L. Obtain N O E L value from toxicological studies or literature. If N O E L is not available, use the L D fifty, that is lethal dose fifty percent, or P D, that is permitted daily exposure, as an alternative. Step two: identify minimum batch size of next product. Use the smallest batch size of the subsequent product to ensure worst case scenario calculations. Step three: determine maximum daily dose of the next product. Use the highest dose. of the subsequent product administered to the patient per day step 4 apply safety factor use a safety factor example 1000 to account for interspecies intraspecies and additional safety considerations and final step calculation of macro plug the values into the macro formula to determine the maximum allowable carry over given easy example of macro calculation Consider the therapeutic dose of a product as 10 mg, safety factor as 1000, and batch size of the next product or subsequent product as 200 kg. With the mathematical calculation, we will get the value as 0.4 times 0.5 mg per kg. This means the maximum allowable carryover of product A in product B is 0.4 times 0.5 mg per kg of product B. What is NOEL and how is it used in macro calculation? NOEL is no observed effect level is the highest dose of a substance with no adverse effects used to determine safe residue limits. Reference ICHQ3C. What safety factor is commonly used in macro calculations? A safety factor of 1000 is commonly used to account for variability and uncertainty. reference ems guideline on setting health based exposure limits 2014 how is the minimum batch size of the next product determined for macro the smallest batch size of the subsequent product is used to ensure a worst case scenario reference fda's guidance on cleaning validation 1993 what is the significance of the maximum daily dose in macro calculation maximum daily dose represents the highest dose of the subsequent product administered to the patient per day ensuring safety limits are not exceeded reference ems guideline on setting health based exposure limits 2014 can macro be applied to cleaning agents direct answer is yes macro can be calculated for cleaning agents to ensure they do not exceed safe residue limits reference fda's guidance on cleaning validation What is the difference between MACO and PDE? MACO is specific to carryover between products, while PDE, that is permitted daily exposure, is a health-based limit for impurities. Reference ICHQ3C. Very important question: How is MACO used in multi-product facilities? MACO ensures that residues from one product do not contaminate another, maintaining product quality and patient safety. Reference UGMP Annex 15. qualification and validation 2022 what documentation is required for macro calculations documentation includes toxicological data batch sizes daily doses safety factors and detailed calculations for regulatory review reference fda's guidance on cleaning validation very important question which guideline are commonly referred in pharmaceutical industry for macro calculation 
फर्स्ट ई एम ए गाइडलाइन ऑन सेटिंग हेल्थ बेस्ट एक्सपोजर लिमिट्स सेकेंड एफ डी एस गाइड थर्ड पी डी एस टेक्निकल रिपोर्ट नंबर ट्वेंटी नाइन एंड फोर्थ आई सी एच क्यू सेवन डोंट फर्गेट टू लाइक कमेंट एंड शेयर सब्सक्राइब टू चैनल फॉर मोर वीडियोज रिलेटेड टू आर फार्मास्यूटिकल इंडस्ट्री